What's up YouTube? Today I'm going to be doing a 2022 what's in the bag video here. I'm going to go through my entire golf bag and some accessories at the end of the video. So stay tuned so you won't miss a thing. Alright, so the first club we have in the bag today is a Kirkland Signature KS1 putter. The funny story is, um, my old putter got too short for me to use anymore. So, I made the switch from my old mallet putter to this blade putter, and it's a pretty awesome putter. One thing I will say is, I just wish it was a tad bit heavier. Alright, now it's time to talk about my wedges. I have a 50 and 54 degree Callaway Jaws wedges, and I like them a lot. They have a lot of spin. Unfortunately, I damaged the 54 degree by hitting it out of a rocky bunker a while back. Moving on to the irons, I have a set of Maverick irons going from 5 iron to pitching wedge, and they are some great irons because when you strike it, in the center, the ball always comes off the face pretty hot. And I forgot to mention, uh, my irons and wedges have both have catalyst shafts. The wedges shafts are just black. I'm pretty sure that the iron shafts are regular and the wedge shafts are stiff. Disclaimer here, this is not a steelhead XR hybrid. The reason why I have a Steelhead XR head cover for my Maverick 3 hybrid is because I lost the Maverick 3 hybrid head cover, obviously. Fun fact, when we first bought the adult clubs, we didn't buy a driver, just two hybrids. Alright, last but not least, we have the driver. This head cover is the professional staff head cover, which is different than the regular Epic Flash head cover, which is um only white and green. I got this driver in 2020, I think, and it still is a great driver. We had to change the shaft once because the shaft got too short. This is the Even Flow Shaft Project X, and I think it is either regular or stiff. Alright, so now that we're done discussing my golf clubs, we can now discuss my accessories. So. For the first thing I want to talk about here is the golf ball, because without a golf ball, it would pretty much be impossible to play golf, so, yeah. Usually, I like to play a Callaway Super Soft, or maybe a Titleist. I got this ball from one of my relatives, and he said it was from his company's tournament or something. Moving on, we have this, um... Memorable bar ball marker I got from Hawaii about three years back. Um, I took a trip there with my family a long time ago, and I actually got to play at one of the courses there. It was amazing. There are some beautiful ocean views and stuff. But here. Basically, it's like one of those things. You know, already know it can do. It does this. But, yeah. And here is the what the ball marker looks like if you look at it up close been marking my ball with this ball marker for about three years now. So I'm definitely planning on keeping it. Next up, we have a Sharpie permanent marker. It's good for marking balls, that's all we really need to know at this point. Next up, we have some Aquaphor. Um, I have a, I have very dry skin, so I need Aquaphor on a very dry day. That's usually in the winter here, in the on the east coast. Right. Moving on, we have a soft spike ball marker, ball line tracer thingy. Um, I actually got this as a Christmas present. Um, I've actually marked stuff with this ball marker, and the marker that came inside of it literally was leaking ink out. So that's how this got all dirty, and it's it's kind of funny. You can laugh if you want, but the last thing we have is a. Uh, Bushnell Tour V3 rangefinder. I've lost it probably a bunch of times. But, see, I've managed to keep it, so here it is. Okay. Last but not least, we have my golf shoes. Had these ones for about a year, maybe a year and a half. These are the Skechers Go Golf shoes. Um, they're pretty good at keeping out water. And if, if you give them a good scrub, they'll return white again. 
All right, guys, that is the end of the video. Thanks for watching all the way to the end. I really appreciate it. Um, if you enjoy my content, please hit that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell for notifications so that you know when the next golf video is coming your way. See you in the next video.